Hey everyone, this is Shanna with Florabella, and today I'll be demonstrating how I edited this image from start to finish using the Florabella color play actions. I'll be working in Photoshop CS5 today, but the set is compatible with CS2 and above, and also Photoshop Elements 6 and above. And there is a separate video for Photoshop Elements. So first off, I'm going to show you this straight out of camera, so you can see how I cropped it. I cropped it to a square. I really love um, square crops. So the first thing I did was I ran, um, instead of running clean base, which is what I normally run before I add the artistic add-ons, I decided to run subtle color. You can choose either one. I just wanted a more subtle base, I think, for this image. So I'm just going to run subtle color here, and it will load multiple layers. Um, for this, I think the midtones are a bit too bright, so I'm just going to click off the light and midtones layer. I could go in and play with all the other layers, but I can do that later also. I'm going to add some um, artistic add-ons on top. And because I took this photo outside, it has more of a, a green tone to it. I want to change that to more of a wine sort of rosier tone. Um, I ran Wild Heart, and here's the difference. Wild Heart is an action that adds that pretty pretty wine tone that I'm after. Um, but I want it to be a little more brown, a little more matte, so I'm also going to run Earth. You can go inside these add-ons and adjust the layers too, to, to adjust them and tweak them for your individual photo. Um, I'm going to reduce the opacity of that to about 45%, I think, about half of what it was. It was a little too intense for me. And now I can stop there because I think that looks pretty aside from the fact that we need to add some color and dimension to her face. Um, but I'm going to try Summer Peach because Summer Peach adds a real pretty peachy, hazy effect that I like. Okay. And that's a little too hazy matte for me, so again, I'm going to bring that about halfway, 45% or so. Now, I love um, what's going on here, except I'm noticing that she needs a little definition in her eyes and definitely some blush brush on her face just to add that rosiness. Um, I use the blush brush on almost every image, whether it involves um, a portrait or not. I use it on, on florals and landscapes, just about anything. So the blush brush is down here in the brushes section and so I'm going to click it um, twice. Actually I'm going to click it three times because I like to separate um, the lips from the cheeks, etc. Now you'll notice that um, I'm using a round brush, a soft round brush. I'm going to keep my opacity at about 50% just so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to be, you know, making sure that my brush is on white. It automatically should default to that. And actually, I'm going to turn it up all the way so I can really see what I'm doing here. And I'm just going to gently um, brush where I want the blush effect. Now, if I click on my layer mask and click the backslash key, I can see where I've painted. And many times what I'll do is I'll go in with my black brush at a much lower opacity and I'll just kind of even make the transition smoother by painting back over around the circles of the cheeks just so it doesn't look like blushy circles. There we go. And there's the difference. I could even make it more intense. I'm just going to take off a little bit here. There we go. And already that just adds the color that we need in her face so that the image is more balanced. Um, on the next blush brush layer, I'm going to add just some blush to her lips just to make them a little more rosy. She has gorgeous lips. And um, I can also, on the third layer, accentuate some of these flowers and make them rosier, add some color even just the little band on this headpiece. A lot of people ask me about this headpiece. It was custom and made from vintage materials, so unfortunately um, there isn't another one like it out there, but I really do love it. 
So that just adds a little bit more of a pink element. Okay, the only other thing I might do is to add um, some definition to her eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and um, make a composite of this image on the top. And the way I do that is by clicking on a PC, Control, Alt, Shift, E. That's Control, Alt, Shift, E, or Command, Option, Shift, E on a Mac. And what that's going to do, it's going to merge everything that's visible in my layer so that I have a layer to work on on top. What I can do here is I can use the detail brush or I can use the definition palette. And I think that's what I'll do here is use the definition palette to accentuate her brows and her eyelashes. Now, um, on, this is a little bit different because you're not going to be using your layer mask unless you want to erase a mistake you made. You're actually painting on this gray layer. If you need to brighten an area or highlight an area, you'll paint with white. If you need to darken or burn an area, you're going to paint with black. And so I'm going to reduce my brush size by pressing my left bracket key. And I'm just going to sweep over her eyes here. Okay, I'm going to lower the opacity really low here. I could have done this on a separate layer, but it's fine. I'm just going to paint over her brows just to make them a little darker, just to make it more dramatic. And again, I can decrease, that was a little bit too much here, so I will decrease that opacity to about 60%. Okay, so there is the finished product. The only other thing I might do is, um, again, here's our original, and here's what we end up with. And the only other thing I might do is flatten. I love the noise reduction action from Classic Workflow, so I'm just going to run down there. And in the Workflow Enhancers of the Classic Workflow set, we have noise reduction. There it is. And I'm just going to play that. That's going to reduce any noise or graininess in the image. And what I usually do is, let's wait till that's finished. It comes with a layer mask, and I usually paint with black on the layer mask onto any areas where I don't want to um, decrease any sh real sharpness. So I'm going to take that up to 100% actually. And I'm going to just brush over her eyelashes, her eyebrows, her lips maybe a little bit of this lace up here, just so it's not too smooth. And that's it. I'm going to flatten and I'm done. Color Play and Classic Workflow, as well as the rest of Florabella Actions and Textures are available at FloribellaCollection.com. Thanks for watching.